These are some examples out of Paul's collection. These are a couple of funk clutch plates. And it's the teeth give you a good idea of what happens, how they wear. So even though it was a friction material, it might still be thick enough and in good enough condition, the teeth are uh, wearing to the point where at some point they're going to rip right out. Is there anything that would cause that like, specifically or like something else that would cause that? I think or it's a lot of... Uh, we'll see some of those that the uh, wear is eccentric. One teeth, some teeth will be wore a lot more than others across there. I don't know if a lot of that has to do with their broaching of their gears. They're not true for the stamping of the teeth. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's a chatter that's going chatter, on yeah, or a just high low. torque. You know, in, in a low gear. It's real common to see that in funk clutch plates. To see that kind of wear in them. This was the input shaft that Paul pulled out of the DF250. This has some some gear teeth wear. That's what, why he changed it. He didn't like the looks of the teeth here. He said all the other teeth that this matches up with looked really really nice. So he doesn't know if you know that transmission was rebuilt once upon a time and those gears may have been changed and this shaft wasn't. The main reason that this is is out is you guys take a look at the teeth wear on there, the edge of the teeth. 